Yo, what's up guys? It's the Elephant and we are going to be going through my top 15 most wanted cars from the new Top Drives update. So let's just jump right into it. In 15th place, we are going to be having the Hummer H1 Alpha Wagon. Now this car, it, it just looks cool. That's really the only reason it's on this list. I'm not even sure if it's going to be useful or not because the other Hummers moved down to rare and they've got better stats, but hey, the H1 Alpha Wagon, I'll just be very happy to have in my garage and just collect it. That's the same thing now for our number 14 spot, which is an Oldsmobile. It is, where is it? Right there, the Oldsmobile Starfire Coupe. Now, I just like it because it just looks like an old American muscle car, and so that's pretty much just why it's on the list. More of an old American sedan, but still, it's a pretty cool looking one, or coupe, I guess, whatever. It's, it just looks like a classic old 60s American car, which is why I have it on this list. Next up is a bit more of an interesting one, probably for you guys. I mean, all of these cars are interesting for me just because that's the reason they're on this list, but it's the Ford GT70. It seems like a very interesting Epic. Oh, it's, I didn't even realize it was medium ground clearance. Okay, now I really want this car. 3.491, I bet, is what it upgrades to at 233. So I'd actually be very happy if I pulled this now. I didn't realize it was medium and very lightweight. Okay, I'm actually very excited about this car. Hopefully, I will be able to pull it at some time definitely deserves a spot on this list. Next up is going to be definitely a very useful meta rare car, which is an AC. It is the AC Brooklyn's Ace. 5.90 to 6077 handling. This one's definitely going to be a club's car. Now, since the Lotus Elise has moved up in RQ to super rare, the 1.6, I believe is what it was. It was the old RQ39 Lotus Elise. Everyone knows what car it is, but this one is probably going to replace that Elise. This doesn't weigh as as light as the Lotus does, but still, it's probably going to be a very strong contender and will be pretty useful. So definitely deserves a spot on this list because the sooner I get it, the sooner I can use it in clubs. Next up is another Ford. It's a common one and it is the, where is it? Ford, not that, Ford Street Car. That RQ19, it's just a cool looking car. It's a convertible, I believe. Oh, it's a Roadster actually, but is it lightweight? Not really sure. Didn't really look much at these cars. I just looked at the picture and I'm like, I definitely want you in my garage. And that's pretty much what the thought went over through my head for the Ford Street Cop. I just really wanted it in my garage. So that's why it's going to be on this list as well. Next up is 10th place, which is a Porsche. First Porsche of the list and definitely not the last. Where is Porsche? Right here. And it is one of the lower RQ Porsche. If I can find it. Right here, the Porsche Boxster 2.7. It's just got a really great looking picture. I, that's mainly the reason I have it on here. And it's a Boxster, which is pretty cool. 6.382, not the best stats, but still it'll get to 81, 91 handling. But I just really like the picture that they use. The placement honestly isn't too bad as well of the photo, but just the way the lights and everything works around it. I just really would like to have this car in my garage because it is very appealing to look at. Next up is number nine, which, Honestly, I forgot what that is. I wrote something down. All right, so I'm going to type it in the box. E-V-O-S is what I wrote down. There it is, the Ford Evos. That's what it was. I forgot what it was. The Ford Evos is definitely just a really cool looking mix of like a Fusion and a Ford GT, I guess I could say. But it's, oh, it's very heavy though. Low ground clearance though, but it's 5.675. It just is a cool American concept. So I wanted to put it on this list then. Would be pretty happy with getting it. Not sure how well it would perform though. I didn't realize how heavy it was, but still, it's a pretty good looking car. Next up is, I do know which one this is, which is probably my most attainable, obtainable, besides this guy, I guess, obtainable AC Cobra, which is the AC Cobra 140 Charter. Would be very happy with getting this 5.278, 5.00 to 60 is actually pretty strong for a super rare. And also lightweight, yep, 1,100. It would probably be good to have a 323 and a 332, I bet, of this car, depending on how much MRA it has. So, would be pretty interesting to see. Also from 2021, too. So, maybe we'll start to see some more 2021 or 2020 related events be added to the game, because there really hasn't been any. Then, we have a Lotus, first Lotus on the list, which is the Lotus Amira. 4.288, but really, I just like the car. It's a cool one. 2022 as well, so it's a new car, which is probably the reason why I like it. It's just a nice looking Lotus, <laughs> to say the least. 4.288 as well, those stats don't look too bad, could be pretty promising. 
Um, ooh, the Avora GT, though. I did not see that. But the Amira, I'd say, probably deserves that spot on the list. Then, we have another Lotus, actually. Oh, now this is a Lotus. It's an older Lotus, but one with probably one of the best pictures that's been added to the game. Lotus Turbo Esprit HC. It's got the ski rack on the back of the Lotus Esprit with the skis on it. It's going fast around a corner in the mountains with, I assume, snow because they've got skis on the car. And I assume it's a mountain because there's a big, like, ledge um, on the other side of that barrier. So really, this is probably my favorite photo that's been added to the update. I really love the way this car looks. It's not the greatest car, though, and I saw so it wouldn't be. It is actually, it does seem like a very strong-looking super rare, but it's not like the, oh my gosh, I got the Lotus Turbo Esprit. Like, that's for the higher tier cars more on the list. But still, that's why it's got the number six spot, because it is probably my favorite photo that's been added in this new update. In the spot number five, it is a version of my dream car. If you've been watching this channel for a while, or maybe you just are in my Discord server or something, it's the Ford Escort RS 1700T. My dream car is the Ford Escort RS Turbo from the 80s. So this is perfect. Rear wheel drive, off-road tires, probably one of the new best off-road rally cars, depending on how well it performs to the 037 rally. Very lightweight, medium ground clearance. I definitely max this car out immediately. And maybe we'll finally get some off-road in the finals. That would be nice, because then this car will definitely reign supreme above the others, unless there's a hill climb. Then that might be a bit of an issue. Then... In spot number four is a car of one of my older dream cars, not the exact version, but a car of one of my older dream cars. It's the Audi R8, this one being the Audi R8 4.2 Quattro, because an Epic is much easier to get than a Legendary, so I might as well put the Epic on my wish list then. Plus, it's also easier to max out too, so then it would be a bit more exciting because then I could have a maxed out Audi R8. And his stats don't seem too bad. 3.8, 86, four-wheel drive, medium tier, heaviness, and weight. So it might not be too bad of a car to have. Is that? Yeah, that one is a well, epic. I wasn't sure if that one's a legendary or an epic, but definitely would be very happy if I pulled the Audi R8 4.2 Quattro. Then next up is a ultra rare from the brand of Ford. It is the only Raptor that I will probably ever be able to get. The Ford Ranger Raptor. Still definitely a really cool car. Um, is that a watermark? I'm pretty sure there's a faded out watermark like just above the stars. So that's pretty funny. Didn't notice that before, but still very nice looking picture. It could be moved a bit to the left, but I'm not sure if they know how to extend or not. So I don't know. But if it was me, I would have moved it a tiny bit to the left. But still, it's a very great looking picture with the Ranger Raptor off-roading in the dirt. Um, high ground clearance, which of course is a given. And it's just, I really like pickup trucks, even though it's a British pickup truck, but it's Ford. It's kind of American. They do sell them in America as well. I haven't seen one but I'm pretty sure they do sell them in America. I do know that they are built in a factory in America, so I don't know, but they marked it as British, which makes sense, they're a British company, so yeah. But moving on to spot number two, which is the Porsche. If I can find Porsche, I lost Porsche again. I lost Porsche the last time too. It's not a legendary, it's not an ultra rare, it's not a super rare, it's not anything below that either. It is the epic Porsche 911 GT3 Touring. 3.792 handling. That's going to be 102 maxed out. Not sure what the other stat's going to be. Probably 3.2. So 3.2 102. That's incredible. That's an insanely good epic. Going to be an absolute beast, I bet. Like this guy I was kind of hyped about because 3.589, but no. This guy drops into the update with 3.792 handling. That's that thing's going to be absolutely incredible, and I really hope I'll be able to get it. If I get that, that thing is going to carry me in the finals, I bet. So we'll just have to hope I get lucky. And then the last car on this list is if you watched my previous video, you probably know what it is it's the Hennessy Venom GT. I love my American cars. This is like one of the greatest American hypercars or supercars, whatever category it falls into, like of all time. Hennessy and Hennessy or Hennessy, I forgot how it was pronounced. Oh, well, that really doesn't matter right now because we're talking about this car and it is just so great. These other two are prize cars, so can't really get them or put them on the list then. Or maybe I'll get them. Maybe I'll get lucky, but that's going to be in a while. But this one is just absolutely incredible. I would max this car out instantly. Well, maybe not instantly. I wouldn't skip like the gold and stuff, but I would definitely max it out. It would be at the top of my max out priority list. 101 handling at 233. 
and I'm pretty sure it has like 100 MRA, maybe a bit more. Don't really recall exactly, but it's definitely a very strong car that I would be insanely happy about. I, that would have a crazy reaction from me. I'd give like the biggest reaction I've ever had if I pulled that. And yeah, that is going to be it for this video. That is my list. Honestly, pretty good list. It's got a lot of cars that I like, and I'd be very happy if I would be able to pull them, especially pull all of them. I would be super happy if I could pull all of them. But yeah, that is going to be it for this video. Make sure to like, subscribe. Also, join my Discord server. It's pretty active right now since the new update dropped, and it would be pretty fun to have some more people in it. Also, if you'd like to join in that carbon fiber video, then you just need a good mic and to not be in an area with a lot of background noise, and you can talk and join me in that video. So definitely join pretty soon, though, because whenever the carbons drop, that's going to happen, which might be tomorrow. So yeah, I don't know. We'll have to see. And that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this type of content, make sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell, do all that good stuff. I'm Yellowfin. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.